guys welcome back to the channel into the garden um today just having a quick look at an area that we don't film too much in this is where the uh outdoor kitchen project is going in you can see from our last video guys we have added the large trachycarpus palm um which arrived yesterday we've still got the pond here that uh we were looking at trying to add sort of a little small water feature off the back of this planter and again we've added another square planter at the back here uh temporarily as well now as we're going through and digging out the uh, waste uh, for to lay the patio down back here we're actually using that to fill the planters as we go now one thing I find in the garden with a lot of my projects I'll typically reuse any waste or anything that I've got around um, to try and kind of you know minimize the amount I need to be actually getting rid of so for example with the uh, pool project down in here, all that waste in there has actually gone into leveling the garden initially here. Um, so again, it's uh, just one thing to think about that when you are doing projects, um, you know, that waste can be used for other projects and it kind of, again, can be kind of reused around the garden here. Now, I'm gonna do a bit more work on the slabs and we'll come back to you uh, shortly and see where we get to. So unfortunately, we got rained out here, guys. Um, did manage to get the uh, base of the patio down here you can see so we've got sort of that area a bit more clean now um, You know just a bit more usable also in the back here on um, the second planter we have used a lot of the wastage I've actually uh, moved one of the formiums here um, It just really wasn't doing well in the center bed there So I'm gonna see if it uh, does any better in a, in a bit of a raised bed here on the corner um, Now as you can see we've got the pathway coming through all the way back and we'll start bricking in the rest of the kitchen once we get a few more in here and just taking a look guys also moved a few other cuttings of some of the sedums around into here as well which are evergreen so hopefully it'll just be a nice little evergreen um uh, sort of mini bed here as you can see underneath here we've done the same sort of thing guys uh just taking a look now i mean it is raining as you can see um but in some ways that does kind of highlight what i'm going for with this little pond here at the end um so it is starting to really come together, guys. A uh, lot more work to do on this. Of course, uh, subscribe and follow along on the build and um, the rest of the tropical garden. Now uh, we'll be back to this project uh, probably as soon as it sort of dries up here and we'll uh, send out an update. Of course, uh, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.